The new book, Mary Churchill's War, The Wartime Diaries of Churchill's Youngest Daughter, is based on the private writings of Winston Churchill's youngest daughter, most of which have uh, never been published until now. The book was edited by Churchill's granddaughter, Emma Soames, and Emma is with us now. Good morning, Emma. Good morning. Good morning. It's lovely to be with you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Your grandfather's taken on an almost mythological status uh, in history, and I was curious about the personal details that you learned about him that maybe we, we're not aware of. Well, I learned um, very much of how his speeches used to gestate because my mother used to be with him at family meals and spending time with him. And she quotes in her diaries lines from various poems that a few days later she hears him using in a speech at, say, the House of Commons. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that a, a teenager, your mother, would have a front row seat to, to history, uh, both for, for being so young and, and being a, a woman. What was that relationship like with her father that he allowed that to happen? Well, A, she was his daughter, mm -hmm. uh, his youngest daughter, and we all know that people have great affection for their Benjamins, their youngest children. Also, during the time of the war, she grew ever closer to him. And by the end of the war, he was seeking out her company because she was very good with him. She was very considerate. She didn't say, now, what are you going to do after D-Day or what are the plans <laughs> about Sicily? She would just listen and sit with him and um, be quiet, and he liked that. The other thing is she joined the army, and she became a member of a mixed anti-aircraft battery, and he was inordinately proud of her for that. So that made them closer. Was there any hesitation on your part to publish your mother's, what I'm assuming at the time when she was writing them, thought they were going to be private writings? Well, yes, but she'd used some of these diaries in her memoir, ah. which she called The Daughter's Tale. But to be honest, I don't think she ever would have published the diaries because I think she was rather embarrassed by them. I mean, they are, some of them, the writings of a young girl. Um, and I think she was needlessly, I have to say, because they're very well written, um, somewhat embarrassed, you know, some of her writing about boyfriends and, you know, her, her teenage enthusiasms. But um, obviously, if I thought they were very embarrassing, generally speaking, I wouldn't have um, gone ahead. But actually, they're very charming. Yeah, when, when I heard we were going to be speaking with you, I, I had to do the math, and I, and I doubted it, because uh, Churchill was born in 1874, and he drank a lot and smoked a lot, and yet he was around long enough for you to know him as a grandfather. What was he like <laughs> as a grandfather? Well, he was, he was terrific, but he was... I was very, very young, and he was very, very old, so he wasn't sharing... Um, his thoughts about the Cold War with me. Um, <laughs> but I spent a lot of time playing at his feet as a child, and I remember him very, very vividly. And I remember my grandmother and their lovely home, Chartwell, and their many pets, of course, and helping him to feed the goldfish in the pond that he built himself. I wonder, and whether you have an opinion on this or not, what he would think about the current prime minister. And, and you know, every it seems like every couple of years there's a controversy, obviously, involving that office, but what he might think about the current ongoings there. I, I really am very, very reticent about putting words mm -hmm. into the thoughts of people who yeah. have passed. Um, and I would really not like to say what he would have thought. Yeah, of course, but most of us know him just from reading about him or seeing him in the movies. What was that driving force that made him who he was, uh, uh, you know, a tough guy and a good communicator to stand up to Hitler? Well, all I can say is cometh the hour, cometh the man. Mm -hmm. um, I really think he was a genius. I mean, particularly, funnily enough, reading these diaries, um, which are written by somebody with a, a very intimate seat uh, in, in the drama, if you like. And there's no doubt about it that he had 
the broad enough shoulders to handle these great events, the absolute vision of what had to be done, from which he never wavered. Um, and then, of course, his great friendship with two American presidents, and he was able to get the help that we so he so sorely needed to make this come to pass. Well, the book is Mary Churchill's War, The Wartime Diaries of Churchill's Youngest Daughter. For more, follow Emma Soames on Twitter. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.